for the modified Allen's test, you want to use your index and middle fingers to apply firm pressure to both the ulnar and the radial arteries. You can also do it with your thumbs, but I think you get better compression with the index and middle fingers together. And what you're going to do is you're going to compress both the radial and ulnar arteries at the same time to occlude them, and then have your patient squeeze and release into a fist about four times. Once they've done that three or four times, their palm and fingers will be very pale. Then you release one side and count the number of seconds for the color to return to normal. Once you've done that, you'll go ahead and repeat the test, this time releasing the other artery. So go ahead and make about four more fists. And then I release the radial artery and we see how long it takes for the color to return to normal. If the color returns to normal in five seconds or less, that's a negative result or a normal result. If it takes more than five seconds for the color to return to normal in the hand and the fingers after the pressure is released, that's a positive result and indicates that vascular status is impaired. If you have a positive result, healing will likely take longer. You will want to avoid thermal modalities and you will want to avoid any compression techniques to treat edema.